Let's go ahead, Gil. Go down to your right leg. Yes, sir. And switch feet. Other side. Go ahead down. So we can let the towel on the other way. Go ahead, sit down. Go ahead, sit up, medium, butterflies. Yes, sir. Our side. Hey, come on, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are gonna we're gonna do some self-defense. We're gonna focus more on baby self-defense. Who knows all six of them? Who knows four of them? Who knows none of them? Okay. Let's start backwards. We're going to do number six. Then. I know a lot of times we usually start with one because that makes sense to start with the first one. But forget that. We're going backwards. Okay. 
Number six. How does number six work? What's the grip? Grips. It's almost like it's like a Yeah. Double So someone's coming up grabbing a trip like this. Probably going to shake it or push it against the wall. We don't like that, right? So who likes that? Okay. You like that? No, 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 so I want to pull down so I know my knee strike will be able to come up and hit something with more of a guarantee. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. We'll do uh, three lines. One be in front of me. There's an egg for a Go ahead, go. Make sure you have space for the person behind you because when you step back, you're going to get stepped on your toes. Get ready. Let's give it a shot. Go ahead, go. Uh, stay on the same line, like that. No, stay on the same line. And freeze. We're gonna, we're gonna start this later on eight lines just to see how we're doing. I'll move down over here. Just take off to the right side over there. Let's give it a shot. Go ahead. Uh, Stay on the same
Come here. Yes, so if anything is a little more than that self-defense, it's probably how you snap them down. 
If you don't do that the right way, you're not really setting yourself up so you can follow up with the right move correctly. Because I know a lot of us, when we first try doing this, it seems like after that knee strike, you're just ripping their hands off. You're not ripping anything off. Why do you think we're doing a knee strike? What's the knee strike for? Because when he It knows what to encourage. Yes. Yes. Um, well, I'm not making you do anything when I encourage you, right? Yeah. I'm just gently guiding you with my knee strike to your nose to let go. Does that make sense? <laughs> so I'm encouraging you to let go because I just need you in the head. Or I need you in the stomach. See how encouraging that to be? Okay, good. Because if they don't let go after that point, there's just going to be another one. I'm going to say, okay, you better let go or this is going to be going. Does that make sense? Yes. You're encouraging them. Not really. You're, you're, you're hitting them until they let go. Put that to your face. Make sense? Yes. It sounds kind of not nice. It really is. You guys understand that? Yes. So we're practicing to make sure you can do this right the first time. So you can be effective with them. Boom. So that you can just do the one and then you put them in the lock. Because if someone needs me in the face, I can almost guarantee you I'm letting go of whatever just happened. And I'm probably gonna go, oh my goodness, my face. <laughs> I just got need in the face. I'm not gonna think about, keep going, hit me here again. I'm probably gonna put my hand in to try to block it or do something. That's when they go and you put the grip on. So he grabs, I step, I pull, mouth his knee. My knee goes to his face, he's ready to let go. Cause he's like, I don't want it. I don't want to get hit. <laughs> Go. What happens if they let go? No, what happens if somebody else lets him over and let him go? So, so someone else comes in here? Yeah. So, like, I grab you, but then just want to just, like, I don't like that. Is and, that what you're saying? And then they're going to take their hands off the face. Well, when there's another person in this situation, it's totally different. Totally different. Hopefully, that doesn't ever happen. But we don't want that. We're gonna practice number five. We're, I know we didn't do the whole entire thing, but we're gonna do the, the headlock first. first. How does the head, what do we need to do from the headlock? Let's go. Stop. I got you. What are you gonna do? So he's gonna take his hand, he's gonna punch me in the rock. And from there, he's gonna reach up and over in front, right in front of my chin. He's gonna take his hand, he's gonna extend it out. So extend your arm out, try to push my face away from my, my head. There you go. And then you're going to stand up at the same time. And now my going is falling over. You see that? Yes. Everyone understand that? One more time. So I got him. <laughs> Make sure you stand in the middle seat so you don't want to get rocked. Rock and round like this. We're going to put on it and then reach over. And then extend. Boom. Oh. Now here's the question What if I'm bringing Caden and then he punches me in the thigh? And then he tries to reach over, it doesn't work. What are you trying to do again? No. Yeah, you keep punching with the thigh. Just keep, just keep ripping apart punches. It's got to be a strong punch. This isn't going to cut. <laughs> when you tap people in the thigh, nothing's going to happen. You've got to take, you've got to hit them right in the middle. And there's a spot right in your thigh where if someone hits, it doesn't feel good. It almost gives you a dead leg. No, the dead leg. Feels like you can't move the left foot. <laughs> and you're like limping all over the place. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't function. So let's make three lines again. One in front of me, and those. We're going to push you in headlocks. And then uh, you're going to escape. Let's even have the lines. There's five people over there. And two people over there. That works. Okay, get ready. Okay, go. Back up. Oh, my 
jumping up and upwards from then. Oh, 
There is a way. There is a way to do that. But uh, you have to do it. with that subject. So if they do try to copy one way or the other way, you at least have a better chance. Make sense? Yes. You want to make sure you keep active and balanced because they don't have to go. Let's do one more. You ready? Well, huh? we'll, we'll go to number one. I know I said we're not going to do number one. Okay. That one's a really effective one just because it all, it all works on the same positioning that we were talking about before. Even like the step. The step is probably the most important thing. When, number one, aside from like your hand position. So let's say, uh, uh, this actually is feeding me because you have a meaty flavor. Let's say, in the bag, this kid. <laughs> so look, um, it's actually a little grab this hand here. Just so, uh, yeah. so from here, hand comes up. I'm stepping across here this way. If I don't step across, let's say I step forward, I try to turn the pin. You only think? Nope. Not really. If I push down, no. am I going to push you down to the floor? Yeah, I could. But we're not doing that. I'm stepping and then putting it to the top of my arm or my leg. So from here, if I have a sleeve down the top, she doesn't like it. She can do it that way. I just feel it in the arm. I feel the, you can feel the muscles in that arm if you do it right. By your forearm, right here, right in front of your arm. There's a bone here in the outer part of your forearm. If we do any blocks like this, what do you think we call it? Outer forearm block. Perfect. So we're hitting or we're striking with the outer forearm here and chopping right on top of their leg. I want to put that pressure down. We're just working up to that part. So you'll step and then you're going to chop down with that arm. Okay. Let's make three lines. There you go. Sure. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, now you're 